holy scripture or scientific text. The Quran is both. There is no clash. When you look into the night sky, you look back in time. But how far back in time can you see? Could you see with a big enough telescope the first stars and galaxies? And could you see the light from the great flash of the Big Bang itself? As we look out, we look back in time. We cannot look infinitely far out since sooner or later we will see the Big Bang. The universe started from an extremely hot and dense era. As we go backwards in time, the universe gets progressively younger, hotter and denser. But how did the cosmos go from extremely hot and dense to being filled with the multitude of stars and galaxies that dominate the night sky today? The Big Bang Theory tells us that the history of the universe's creation is a history of space eras. Each era in space lasted for a specific period and played a specific role in the formation of the universe after the Big Bang. For example, there was an era where light and matter are formed, an era where light and matter are coupled, an era where light and matter separate, and an era where atoms start feeling the gravity of a cosmic web of dark matter. An era where first stars start to form, a reionization era, and so on, until the era of the many stars and galaxies that exist today. Amazingly, even though each of the past eras is considered a stage in a sequence of events that led to the creation of the universe, the evidence of each era still endures and scientists and astrologers can still see each of them. In an article written for Space.com on March the 17th, 2014, entitled Cosmic Inflation, How It Gave the Universe the Ultimate Kickstart by Carl Tate, there is a very interesting infographic that summarizes the Big Bang space era. It's a picture of a man standing over planet Earth and looking towards space. A caption over the image reads, looking out in space and back in time. The photo explains that your eyes can see back very far in time to the degree that you might see the great flash of the Big Bang itself. But to reach this farthest point, your eyes must first pass seven eras that took place over the past 13.7 billion years. These seven eras are the solar system era, the galaxies era, the proto-galaxies era, a reionization era, the first stars era, then the dark ages era, until you reach the great flash era of the Big Bang itself. Each era represents an event that took place during the history of our universe. Remarkably, long before telescopes that could peer into the mysterious night sky, the Holy Quran told us that the history of creation is a history of seven space eras, each of which took place in a specific order mandated by God in the process of the universe's creation. It's worth noting that at the time of the revelation of the Quran, the word space was not known and people used the word heaven to refer to what lies above the earth. So in the Quranic verses we're going to mention now, the word heaven is referring to what we call space. Just as the Big Bang Theory tells us that the history of the universe's creation is a history of space eras, with each era playing a specific role in the formation of our current universe for a specific period of time, the Holy Quran narrates exactly that in chapter 41, verse 12. The Holy Quran tells us that during the process of the universe's creation, God completed the heavens as seven heavens and he made in each heaven its affair. The cosmological principle is the notion that the spatial distribution of matter in the universe is homogeneous and isotropic when viewed on a large enough scale. In simpler terms, this principle is telling us that the universe is uniform. And thanks to today's telescopes, we can now observe the uniformity of the universe by looking out and back in time through the different space eras. This uniformity among the universe's distant regions led physicists to come to an important conclusion in the Big Bang Theory, that these distant regions of the universe we see now must have been in contact with each other in the past prior to cosmic inflation. This again is consistent with what the Holy Quran revealed 1400 years ago when it stated, have those who disbelieve not considered that both of the heavens and the earth, each of them, was as one united piece and we separated each of them and made from water every living thing. Then will they not believe? Think about this for a moment. The Holy Quran is telling us that the heavens, or the space eras as we now call them, were one united piece and then God separated them, just as science now asserts that the distant eras of the universe we see now must have been in contact with each other prior to the Big Bang and then, thanks to cosmic inflation, became widely separated eras. One verse of the Holy Quran, two incredible scientific facts confirm.